and welcome back! In today's video, you'll find some recipes for tasty, low-effort vegan meals. I'm at my parents' house right now because my sister had a first day of school this week. We're all very excited. Um, anyway, when I got here, I was greeted by the absence of a stove, which means all of today's recipes are gonna have to be stove-free as well. Let's begin with this one, a quick little tabbouleh-inspired couscous bowl. First things first, prep your couscous. Add a half a cup to a medium-sized bowl, followed by one cup of boiling hot water, and let this sit for about 10 minutes while you deal with the other components. You technically don't need a food processor for this recipe, it just makes everything a bit faster here. Add tons of fresh parsley. I left some of the stems on as well, but you can remove them completely if you prefer. Also add olive oil, lemon juice, agave syrup or maple or rice syrup, salt, and other seasonings of choice. Also half of a small red onion. Blend it all up. If you don't have a food processor, then chop the parsley and the onion first, as finely as you can, and then add that to a mixing bowl along with the other ingredients. Combine the now cooked couscous with the parsley mix. Then add whatever veggies or add-ins you like. I went for cucumber, tomatoes, and smoked tofu. Carrots and bell pepper would be nice, um, sun-dried tomatoes maybe, vegan feta, roasted cashews or sunflower seeds, yum! Also optional but recommended would be to add some hummus sauce. That is a mix of store-bought basic hummus, lemon juice, and non-dairy milk. A handful of greens make for a good addition as well. So does sriracha mayo. I can't stop adding that to things. Can't imagine that's good for you. <laughs> On to this next recipe, which is for these healthier loaded nachos. A very loose interpretation of the term nachos. Have the oven be preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. Grab a couple tortilla wraps, cut them into six or eights, or really you could also just tear them into a couple pieces. Lay them all out on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and place that into the oven for 6 to 10 minutes, depending on how crispy and dark you want them to be. In the meantime, chop up another small onion half, a couple tomatoes, some smoked or otherwise flavored tofu, rinse about a half a cup of brown lentils, and make that hummus sauce again. But in this case, feel free to combine the store-bought hummus and the lemon juice with some nutritional yeast and also a bit of water until you reach your desired state of consistency. And then assemble. Add some of the sauce first, then some of the lentils, the tofu, some of the onion, some tomato. You might also be able to tell that I'm trying really hard to make this look good for a photo so I didn't add nearly as much or as many toppings as I normally would. Like those are tiny tears of spinach that I added just because I needed the smallest amount of green. Yeah, normally I would add like a couple handfuls of, of that for sure, which I then also later did. Um, but anyway, uh, this was really good. My family was mad at me for not making more. Moving on to this one. A bowl of breakfast cookie dough. So it's a healthier version of the bean cookie dough mix I made a couple years back. Once again, grab a food processor. Add a well-rinsed and drained can of white beans. Small ones or big ones, as long as they're not baked, you're good. Add oats, salt, some kind of vanilla. My parents only had vanilla sugar at home, so we're going with that today. Some kind of liquid sweetener. I went for maple syrup. Add chia seeds or semi-ground or ground flax seeds to get that omega-3. And then lastly, some melted vegan butter or coconut oil, if you don't mind a slight coconutty taste. I tried skipping the butter for this, but I feel like it is the ingredient that masks the bean flavor the most. Yeah, it's just not the same without. Blend it until smooth, taste test, adjust anything if necessary. I felt like it needed some lemon juice to cut through the sweetness. 
Um, that is optional though. I tend to add lemon to pretty much everything I eat these days, if it's not vinegar. Um, but yeah, this is super yummy. Keep in mind, it's still not as rich as my original bean dough recipes. Um, and therefore I would say to make sure you have some really good toppings ready. Uh, like berries, chocolate granola, almond butter. These things are really gonna make it a full meal. Vegan yogurt tastes super nice with this as well. Or even a splash of oat milk or almond milk. Cool. On to this last recipe, which is for these super quick avocado and tofu noodles. First things first, line a baking sheet with line a baking sheet with parchment paper and also preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Cut up a block of firm, plain tofu. Add those tofu pieces to a mixing bowl along with some cornstarch, salt, and other spices of choice. We all know tofu is pretty plain, so go hard with the spices. Um, and then also add some agave syrup and some oil. Mix that all up. Distribute those pieces evenly on the baking sheet. Place it into the oven until the tofu is golden brown for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, prep the noodles. If you also don't have a stove right now, use really thin rice or bean noodles and some hot water from a water kettle to cook these. Otherwise, just cook them according to the packaging. Also, mash up a big, beautiful avocado, add lots of lemon to it, some spices of your choice, and salt to taste. Optional but recommended, have some pickled onions prepared. These are so good. Um, I'll have a video linked down below where I explain and show you how to make those in detail. Also, if you happen to have some vegan kimchi at home, that would fit super nicely. Combine the noodles and the avocado mash. Taste test and season some more if needed. Then top it with your baked tofu. Maybe some black beans, some of the pickled onions, maybe some sriracha mayo, perhaps some greens. This is so, so good might be my favorite out of the four. What is a super low effort meal that you find yourself making a lot these days? Leave a comment down below, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you're gonna give some of these a try. Until next time. Bye. Sunshine in the sweater. Get up and go cause I'm a real go get it. Mama always saying I should probably know better. Always helping out, I'll catch an A in the better. Trendsetter.